today's video we are going to learn the foundation of data visualization we will first see the use of html5 canvas and how to use svg we can use any of them html5 canvas or an svg to integrate data visualization in our html page let us start with html5 canvas HTML5 canvas is most innovative and impactful elements in HTML5 language in regards to data visualization. We have to add a canvas tag. The canvas tag designer can create reserve open-ended area on a web page to contain programmatically created graphics at runtime. The first step in working with canvas tag is to include the tag itself in a body section of HTML page. You only need to include three attributes along with the canvas tag. Those attributes are ID, width and height of a canvas area. Let us understand canvas tag. Canvas tag is not supported by all traditional web browser. If web browser is updated, then only it will be supported by it. So in place of unsupported canvas tag, we can alternatively show an image or a message which can be inserted between opening and closing tag of canvas. So canvas tag completely looks like this and opening canvas tag with ID attribute as chart 1, width attribute as 600 pixel, height attribute as 400 pixel, and closing tag of canvas. Now, between this opening and closing tag, we can show an alternate image or an alternate text. In this particular example, an alternate image which is showing some chart is depicted or we can directly write a text which can show or which can be visible only when canvas is not supported by browser. If canvas tag is supported browser, at this stage nothing will be displayed in an area of canvas. It will be literally blank canvas. To draw something on canvas, you need to initialize a canvas with the help of JavaScript. And JavaScript will be written in a head section of HTML document using script tag. Now there are three basic steps to initialize a canvas. First step is to create a variable which holds a canvas object which is identified by its ID. Second step to check whether canvas api get context method is supported or not if canvas get context method is supported we create a variable and apply get context method to a targeted canvas object so these are the three steps of initialization so code of initialization of a javascript initialize canvas object looks like this we use script tag in our head section of html document script tag takes one attribute called as type whose value is text hyphen javascript between opening and closing tag of script we declare a function called as draw canvas. Now in this function, we first create a variable to hold canvas object. So variable is declared with where keyword, where the chart. The chart is a name of variable. Instead of the chart, you can use any valid variable name, which is initialized as document dot get element by id bracket chart one now what is this chart one chart one is an id of canvas tag 
Remember, while declaring a canvas tag, the ID of that canvas is given as chart1. Now the same ID is now passed as an argument to get element by ID function. So complete canvas object will be now referenced by the chart variable. Now first we will check whether the getContext method for the chart, the chart variable works or not. So we are testing the condition inside if statement. If the chart dot get context. If this value is true, that means chart is ready or the canvas is ready to accept some context. That context is specified by variable the context. So here we are declaring another variable with the help of var keyword where the context. Again in place of the context we can use any valid variable name is equal to the chart dot get context to b. Now in parameter we use 2d to draw 2d shapes and 2d charting primitives. If you wish to draw any 3d shapes or 3d charting primitives, we pass an argument 3 and d. But here we will see an example of 2d shape. Once the context of canvas is defined, all drawing calls reference to this variable with the canvas area will be treated in a coordinate space. Remember we have declared width and height of the canvas as an attribute to it. That means in a canvas tag width is equal to 600 that means the canvas is 600 pixels wide and height is equal to 400 means canvas is 400 pixels long. So complete canvas area is 600 pixel wide and 400 pixel long area is reserved for canvas. Now in this canvas the very first point is known as grid origin which is given as 0, 0,0 location. Whatever the element we wish to draw inside canvas must refer this grid origin and draw its value coordinate according to 0, 0,0 only. Now 600 pixel wide and 400 pixel long grid origin 0, 0,0 is placed in an upper left corner of canvas that we know. If we wish to create a primitive, say rectangle, it can be drawn with a method called as fillRect. Now this fillRect method will take four input x, y, width and height. x and y is nothing but starting coordinate from which you wish to draw a rectangle. From that coordinate, how much pixel wide and how much pixel high rectangle you want must be the next two parameters. So first two values are actually identifying the upper left corner of a rectangle that is x and y coordinates of starting point and later two are the dimension in terms of width and height. All these four values are specified in terms of pixel only. So, in order to draw a filled rectangle, which is 100 pixel wide and 200 pixel tall, which must start its corner from 50 pixel from left and 200 pixels from top, we write fill rect function as x value that is from left 50 pixel, y value that is top 200 pixel, the width must be 100 pixels, so third parameter is 100 and the height of the rectangle must be 200, that's why fourth parameter is 200. So function calls look like fill rect 50, 200, 100, 200. So this will draw a particular rectangle over the HTML. So the complete HTML code will look like this. First, we will write the document type HTML followed by HTML tag in which we have head section and followed by body section. In head, we can incorporate title and script element. Remember the complete script that we have just received 
of drawing canvas, the chart and the context and the red context 2D. In a body section, we are drawing the canvas with its ID. So this is how canvas basic tag works. So with the help of canvas API, which is giving robust and programmatically perform different operations such as you can draw rectangles which are solid and hollow, you can draw arcs, points in any dimension, you can connect straight lines to make some segment, you can draw circle, ovals uh, with any geometrical shape which is solid or outlined, you can write some text of different font, size and color, you can draw some images and add transparency control over the images, you can add color to the transparency, you can fill up any patterns in an any object in a specified direction. So with the HTML canvas, you have a full control over this complete palette. So in addition, with basic drawing option, canvas object can be scaled that means you can enlarge and uh, shrink any object you can rotate any object or you can move object from one canvas to another canvas of a same image this feature of html5 canvas can be applied to create many method graphics such as zooming a particular object will create another timeline or another chart so basically, it provides better performance than any other drawing alternative. Next is SVG. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic is an alternative to HTML5 canvas. Like, just like HTML5 canvas, SVG also enables runtime graphics in a format supported by the most modern browsers. But unlike a canvas, SVG is vector based. Now, vectors are resolution independent, which means they do not degrade their quality if rescaled or magnified. That means if I enlarge or zoom out some particular page, its, its size will be resolution independent. It will enlarge and degree with the quality of page. Also, it is important to note that SVG files are comparatively small as compared to pixel based raster graphics. Integrating an SVG into a web page. So, SVG can be integrated two ways. First way that you can integrate an SVG file with an IMG tag or you can directly write down an SVG inside your web page in a form of XML file. You can directly inline write down SVG code into an HTML page or you can write down an SVG code in a separate XML file and integrate that XML file into HTML. So SVG is not requiring JavaScript to create a graphics programmatically. So this is the third difference between Canvas and SVG. First difference says that Canvas is pixel based while SVG is raster based. Second point, SVG doesn't require JavaScript while Canvas requires JavaScript to render the image. Third point, SVG file size are comparatively smaller than Canvas file size. So these are the three differences we have seen so far. The following code is used to create a blue circle in a middle area of canvas 400 pixel square. So the complete area of a square is 400 by 400. So we say SVG is having height 400 and height is also width is also 400. Here one XML NS attribute is there which is giving XML namespace. Since SVG is W3C standard, so its XML namespace is imported from http www.w3.org slash 2000 slash SVG. Now this XML namespace is having an integrated circle. So circle which is identified its unique name circle1 which is having 
x coordinate as 400 and y coordinate center is 200. So the center of the circle from x axis it is 400 pixels away and from top it is 200 pixels down. So radius of this particular circle is 50 and its filling type is set to color blue. So this is the complete SVG file or SVG area which only incurs in one circle. In addition to the simple drawing primitives, SVG is offering more capabilities such as adding some offset of an image, blurring graphic, composite to graphics, we can diffuse lighting, we can add some shadows and filters to some of these drawing primitives. SVG is offering more filters or some filters which are not available as a part of Canva. So this is the fourth difference between SVG and Canva. Scalable vector graphics capability and small size is an extremely viable medium for data visualization. On the plus point size, SVG are DOM accessible. That means DOM stands for Document Object Modeling. That means each component of an HTML can be used as an object. Over the disadvantage size, this DOME accessibility, document object modeling accessibility will force out the performance of SVG because they make our page quite slower. So at the end, we can conclude that HTML5 canvas and SVG are the two effective tools and they are alternative for each other to drawing graphics in a browser. Each is having its their own pros and cons. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Dutia signing.